The saga of Hamid Hayat and his father cast a dark cloud in a most unlikely spot, the Central Valley farming community of Lodi. The case raised questions of international terrorism and purported links to al-Qaeda, and it did so right in our own backyard here in Northern California. KTVU's John Sasaki is in Lodi tonight with reaction to the verdicts from the community. John. Leslie, this is a tale of two cities. Part of Lodi is disappointed with the guilty verdicts in the Hamid Hayat case, while another part is relieved. In this city of 60,000 people, this story of alleged terrorist activity has divided the community and has had people on edge since it broke last summer. Tonight, a city councilman who has worked closely with the members of the Lodi Mosque said they still don't believe Hayat is guilty. In spite of the lack of, of any hard evidence that convictions that could lead up to 40 years in prison were, were achieved. And, and so, you know, if I was a Muslim, um, yeah, that would concern me. And, and that's why they are visibly concerned. The vice president of the Muslim mosque said he doesn't think Hamid Hayat ever did anything wrong. No, no, he did, no. He got all right. I, so, he is okay. Yes. So you don't think he was a terrorist? No, no, no. Why did the government uh, do this then? I don't know. But talk to many other people in town and you get a much different feeling about Hamid Hayat and his conviction. I think the video was pretty damaging and I, I think it's a good thing that he's found guilty. And I don't know about his dad. So are you relieved then? Oh well, yeah, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I would like to think that we're all a little safer, but you know, probably not, but I like to think we are. Councilman John Beckman, who was mayor when the arrests happened last year, said he hopes government prosecutors wiped out any terrorist threat here in Lodi. Hamid Hyatt will be sentenced, and, and um, you know, presumably we're, we're going to be safer because of that. And so, you know, anything that makes my citizens in Lodi safer, anything that makes America safer, I'm in favor of. The mosque vice president says he is not concerned about any anti-Muslim backlash from the community. Yeah, yeah everything is okay. No, no. Hey, we are living on the street. The neighbors, everybody is all right. Now, this city clearly wants to move on, but with him, Hamid Hayat sentencing and a possible retrial of his father yet to come, it will be some time before Lodi sees the end of this dark episode. Live in Lodi, I'm John Sasaki, KTVU, Channel 2 News.